was studying some things about um, eschatology and and kind of realizing that the modern day church at least where I'm from that I've seen any of the ones I visited in a while uh, noticed a huge difference in um, in how the preaching and teaching is um, does not ever include anything to do with eschatology eschatology if y'all don't know is the um, is the study of the end times prophecies why are our pastors not teaching anything in the church anymore um, I'm not talking like hellfire and brimstone get up and talk about you're going to hell every time you do something wrong that's not the kind of preaching I'm talking about I'm talking about the actual study of eschatology the teaching of the end times and understanding what those prophecies mean I mean we know that in the Bible that if we um, anytime we read meditate or um, study the Word of God that we are blessed it is an, it's an automatic thing that happens it is part of the natural law and the book of Revelations it actually says it promises a blessing for reading and studying this particular prophecy and for some reason it, the uh, prophecies are not being studied and the signs are not being taught to the next generation pastors are discouraging the teachers from teaching this or 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 the pastors just aren't teaching or the denominations are are saying oh yeah we probably shouldn't teach about that because it instills all this fear in people and and all that stuff well here's the thing you guys like you don't this is not about fear you shouldn't be afraid if you're afraid that means you're not right and you probably need to figure out how to get right because this if you if you are walking in a true relationship with Jesus Christ and you really accept him and follow him and I'm not talking about um, going and all of a sudden flipping your world upside down and being a, a Bible thumping holy roller pretend to be go to church every time the doors are open that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about a real live relationship with Jesus Christ like we walk with him we talk with him he is our friend the Holy Spirit is with us and comforts us as believers when you have accepted it truly I mean it is an amazing thing y'all it is a glorious rejoicing thing I'm no longer afraid I'm not scared I'm bold I'm happy I'm I'm elated uh, because I know that the Lord is on his way back and I know that he is speaking to his believers and he's bringing people together who um, who understand this and who are being woken up and just like in the days of the Pharisees I knew the law they knew it backwards and forwards they were real good at that but they also were discouraging the teaching of eschatology I understand that like even some pastors you know it might not be your calling but there are people other members of the body who are gifted in this thing right people we have a whole generation that has no idea what the signs of the times are they don't even know what to look for how you know they don't even know about this stuff because it's not being taught anymore and there's a small remnant back in the old days the Sadducees and the Pharisees they were really doing kind of the same thing that we're doing in our churches today and I'm not look I'm not hating on any church because I believe that you know, there's gonna be believers that go to heaven and, you know from every which way but because of the relationship because that's what's gonna get you there is the relationship the disciples went and asked Jesus and they said hey you know what are they gonna be the signs when will when will they come he didn't discourage them he didn't brush it under the carpet like, no he said okay let me tell you he gave them he revealed to them what was going to happen and his answer to that was he just didn't avoid it you know like our churches avoid things our leaders are avoiding you know, and that's how the enemy snuck into the body of believers right now the enemy has snuck in by making people afraid of what other people are going to think and 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 worried that they're going to be a fear monger be labeled a fear monger or this or that but it's caused a deception it's a deception it's creating ignorance to what the signs are like I said there's a whole new generation and they don't have a clue they don't have any idea what to look for they don't have any idea that the signs are happening in Revelations 1 1 through 3 it says blessed is he who reads and hears the words of this prophecy so we are meant to study and read Revelations and study it and understand the way that the, 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 the clock works that God created. Understand what the signs are. It's not saying, go out and tell all my people they're going to die tomorrow. It's not like that. This is not that kind of a call. 
this is a call to study and understand how to see what the Lord has given you as signs for his return. The study of that is nothing scary about it. It's something we are supposed to be rejoicing and excited about. And the enemy has jumped in and wiggled his little way right into the body of Christ when it comes to the leaders not teaching this anymore. What it's doing, it's getting in there and it's taken away the church, the church body, the bride of Christ, who is the one who's supposed to be anxiously awaiting, by the way, y'all. The bride is the church. And we're not even teaching about how we're supposed to be the bride watching for the return of Christ. Like, what is going on? That is another thing that's proof that we're in the end times, you guys. Oh my goodness. It, it makes me sad. It makes me sad. It really does. Because I don't know. Um, I didn't see it myself, you know. Like, I was kind of asleep a few months ago. Um, I was just blind as everybody else. When the Pharisees and the Sadducees taught that, you know, they taught the law and theology, Jesus actually rebuked them. Like, he rebuked them. He said, you hypocrites, you can tell by looking at the sky that a storm is coming, but you can't discern the times and seasons that you're in. That's what he said. He's like, you can look up there and you can tell when there's a storm brewing. And you can tell what season it is by looking at the stars and the moon and the sky and the sky and the clouds and seeing what's going on. We have a whole teaching on it, meteorology. You know, we can look and we know, but we can't study the same thing that's biblical that teaches us how to discern the signs of his return and of things that are supposed to happen that he foretold about in his word. Like, what is wrong? We've got to get this taught. And the majority of people back then, they were just as ignorant to these things too. I mean, right now, all the centuries later, all the advanced technology that we have in 2018, we're more ignorant now than we were even back then. Think about it. We've been so deceived for so many years and so many centuries that we don't even realize that we're being deceived anymore. It's like we're completely just being led by all the distractions and everything else. It's just craziness, man. Okay, so I know I get really passionate sometimes about these things, and when I'm feeling the spirit, that just happens. So don't shoot the messenger, okay, guys? But this message is for the leaders of the church, the people that are that are in charge of stuff. Like, I think that the reason it's hit me so hard was because I, I was in church off and on my whole life. I know all kinds of little songs, but I was never equipped for the battle that I actually was fighting. And I think that if someone had actually had a good teaching on eschatology and, and not made it about fear and really explained and had like a class, you know, I thought I'd have taught some of those things um, in church or when I was growing up by the leaders of the church. Maybe when I got these eight paintings at 42 years old, that all were in the book of Revelations. It wouldn't have taken me going all kinds of avenues and 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 talking to new age psychics and things to tell me, hey, have you ever read the book of Revelations? A new age person told me when they saw my paintings, have you ever read the book of Revelations? And my answer at 42 years old, being in church off and on my whole life was no.